Hey there everyone, it's Mass Bandit here with another episode of uh, Planet Coaster, Building with the Beta. It's uh, going to be a mini-series, basically we're going to develop the area around this coaster, and uh, then we'll make a video of the coaster, and then we'll move on to a, a full-blown project in the beta. I think I know what I want it to be, uh, I'm not going to say anything yet. But I think you'll be happy when you see it. If you've been following my work in the past, I think you'll be pleasantly, um, I guess I guess you'll be pleased. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, beginning of this episode here, doing some tweaks to the coaster, lowering the hills uh, and smoothing them out so that we can get some more speed over them. One thing I was disappointed with in the uh, first episode was the ratings, the excitement rating of this coaster. And even with these changes that we make here, the uh, the excitement's just not good and just not very good on this coaster. I guess these little, but then I saw now at first I was like, oh, that sucks. This is you know lame and shouldn't be that way. And, <clears throat> and I started thinking about it. Basically, what I've built is a taller. Um, maybe it's not even taller. I've basically built Blue Streak at Cedar Point. Like, when you think of it that way. Yeah, it's a medium, medium excitement coaster. I mean, it's fine. It's it's you know it's, it's not anything um, too intense. So I don't think I should be all that disappointed. So I, I'm, we're going with it, and it looks great. I think that's the thing I care about. It looks awesome. It rides pretty smooth. So I'm content, good enough. So throwing down the pads and uh, digging the um, square angled or the square edges uh, that you can do. I think that really cleans up the station area a lot and it'll make it easier to, uh, to detail and to build around. And then putting in the more rest of the paths. Just doing... Still, the paths in this game, that's, that's... If there's one thing that's not just perfect, <laughs> it's the paths. And I think the reason they're such a problem, why everyone, why a lot of people are having such issues with them, is because so much of this game is great. Like, so much is great. And then you get to the paths, and you're like, what were you thinking? I guess there's reasons why they did what they did, uh, but I just, it's still so finicky and so touchy. It, it's the one system that I think not nearly as successful. And, uh, I mean, it, each update gets better, and so hopefully they'll keep working it. But, yeah, right now, it, they're fine, but when nothing else in the game is just fine, when your paths are just fine, it feels like they're awful. And I think that's the issue. Like, they're not bad. It's not bad. It's just not great. So anyway, continuing on here with our station build. Um, just fiddling around with some of the new pieces, checking out some of the textures and how they all work together and um, creating... A fairly simple station, uh, as far as the foundation is concerned. Once we start adding the beams and stuff here, it, it takes on a decidedly westerny vibe, which is what I was, you know, wooden coaster. That's what I was going for, so I'm cool with that. Um, yeah, putting in beams and playing around and trying to get as close as I can to the uh, to the hitbox, which is seems really tall. It seems very, very tall. Like that's as low as I can go there. And, uh, yeah, it's fine. I wanted it to be, um, enough space to put, well, as you can see, to put a light in there. That's when I realized I needed to raise everything up. And I actually gave it kind of a cool little architectural shape. So, that's nice. Uh, the lighting, actually, is much, much improved in the beta. Uh, they cast a much bigger, I guess, illumination, much more glow uh, for each lamp. Which is great, because that was one of the big issues a lot of people were having in the alphas, was how little light was actually produced from each lamp. And it's nice to see that being addressed. It makes it much, much, much better. And so we're extending our beams here to enclose this station part. And uh, it's it's my design has always been fairly simple. The way I play has always been fairly simple. Uh, just enough detail to get the point across. That's kind of my method. I mean, I suppose if I really wanted to, I could go just balls to the walls with the details, and it would take me hours upon hours upon hours to finish a building. <laughs> if 
but I don't really want that. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, t- testing out the new customizable signs. What a great addition. But anyway, uh, some of you might feel a little kind of feh about this station at the end. Uh, I like it. I think it's perfect. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not some of those guys you probably also watch on YouTube that are just ridiculous amounts of detail. Maybe that's why, you know, my, I'm not as near, there's a lot of reasons why I'm not as popular as them, which is not what I necessarily want, but yeah, like, this is my style. I, I think I've, I think I've translated my Roller Coaster Tycoon um, aesthetic over to Planet Coaster, which I guess should make sense, because, I mean, right? It, basically, this is what RCT3 always kind of felt like it should have been. And so I think that's why my style is what it is. Uh, but anyway, I think I've come a long way since the early alpha builds. Uh, I'm, I'm much better with the pieces and much better with the um, that tool, the, the, the pushing of the X, the, the rotation in three directions. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Uh, you're going to notice a jump in our stream here in our, in our time lapse. Uh, this time lapse was recorded over a few different gaming sessions. One was fairly long, and the other were relatively short. Part of uh, part of the deal with real life is uh, that um, I do these for fun, and I do these when I have the time. And uh, real life gets in the way of these videos quite frequently, which is why my channel is frequently abandoned for weeks, even months at a time, and then there'll be a high output, and then there'll be nothing, but uh, and that also explains why you're going to see a huge cut in the videos coming up, and I think there's two or three massive cuts, it's just, it's just what it is, it's just how my channel has to operate, and uh, I think it works fine, and I mean, the building gets completed in the end, so <laughs> isn't that what matters, right? Yeah, that's what matters. So we're just going along, and I like what I like about this station is uh, I kind of dig the asymmetry of it all. Like how on the one side you've got this, the the roof, and then in the center you've got the peak, and then the other side, the exit's just this, this, the flat decking. I think that turned out kind of cool, and uh, I know I'm still leaning heavily on the pieces that have been there since the alpha, but I mean this is kind of what this series is for: is getting acquainted with some of the newer pieces. And I've already got plans for a lot of the newer pieces I've been poking around off camera. Um, and that has to do more with the project that's going to come after this mini series here once we finish the coaster and the area around it. So you'll see a lot of <clears throat> use of the new pieces. I have to say, the sci fi I am the least uh, interested in. I've never, like, in all my years playing Roller Coaster Tycoon, um, I can probably count on one hand the number of times I've done sci-fi. Might even be able to count on one finger. Uh, I had a dark ride that I don't think anybody ever saw. I never finished it. Uh, I had some prototype dark ride. And that was sci-fi. It's not my favorite. Um, I'm hoping to see more themes roll out of from Planet Coaster in the future. I mean, I know launch is right around the corner, but uh, from everything I'm hearing, they're going to keep, you know, keep uh, pushing out content for the game. I'd like to see some, some some other themes. Western's great, looks awesome. The fantasy is cool. Uh, sci-fi, eh. I want to see steampunk. I want to see it done well. I want to see an extension of fantasy into the spooky. I think that'd look really cool. Um, but anyway, we have our station built. It's, it's, it's fine. I like it. And uh, we're adding some foliage and that's when I realized that we definitely need to foliage up all around the, uh, <laughs> foliage up all around the coaster because it's pretty bare and trying to find some trees that work well with this lighting and with this quasi theme we have. I mean, it's generic, but you want something that kind of makes sense. So we put those, I think they're ponderosas. We put those all around. And then I made a blueprint of my tree grouping and I just spammed the crap out of that and, uh, Actually, it, I think it did a, a decent job selling this whole wooded uh, wooded scene. So I'm happy with it. I think it'll be fine. Here, just kind of, I don't know what I was doing here. I think I was going to try to make a fence. And then something happened. And I think real life came back in. And then you're going to see, yeah, hard cut. Finish spamming up the trees. 
and then uh, uh, once that's up, I think we start building our queue or the the house little queue hut. Oh, one of the things I was doing is uh, testing out what it would what the frame rate was like with all the trees, and actually it was pretty decent, pretty decent frame rate. Um, like I said, my my I have. Uh, if my computer were a member of society, it would be upper middle class. <laughs> it's it's not uh, top of the line, but it's definitely not bottom of the barrel either. It's 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 happily in between, and so the game runs really smooth right now. Granted, there's only one coaster in there, but whatever. Uh, the reason we did three or four um, ride throughs is I was playing with the the music. And it's dynamic music that goes with the POV, and I don't know if it's based on miles per hour or excitement rating or what, but the music changes as you go through the ride. It's really cool. Uh, the more speed and the more excitement, the, the more intense the music. And if you haven't checked it out, you really owe it to yourself. It's, it's really neat. So uh, we're just building a really simple, really basic uh, cover for our, is it called a cattle pen? For our turnstile here, a part of our queue here get people out of the sun and boost the theming score for the queue. Um, like I said, real simple, taking advantage of the duplicate duplication button. That button is a lifesaver, it really, really is. So that's great. And then after that, just a couple more details here and there. And then I'll uh, and then that'll be it for our part. Uh, put in a couple of scenery items and that's gonna be it. So I'm gonna let it finish up and uh, we only got a minute or two left, and once we're all done, I'll catch you back in real time to get a look at what it looks like as the sun comes up. So I'll, I'll, I'll see you then. Enjoy the rest of this uh, little time lapse. Alright guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that time lapse, uh, even though it was a bit choppy there. Uh, it was all stitched together over several different time lapses. We've got still quite a bit of work to do near the front of the queue, and we're going to add a couple shops and stalls and probably play around a bit more with the western scenery before we wrap up this short series. And then the short series will end with a, uh, a video featuring this coaster, which is still to be named. But goodness, this game is gorgeous. It's just unbelievable. Just absolutely stunning. Um, I hope you agree. I think Frontier has absolutely outdone themselves. I mean, just, oh, sunrise. Everything is great. The sounds, the visuals. It's really an incredible, incredible uh, achievement what Frontier has done. <laughs> mm, love it. Alright guys, have yourself a great day, great week, great night, great whatever. Talk to you later. See you next time. Bye-bye.